Hey there, this is Aaron again. Um, this is going to be a video tutorial on how to use um, Adobe. I'm just a little bit on Adobe Bridge, but mostly on how to use Camera Raw to, um, to make changes to a lot of photos at once. Because I recently shot this photograph, these photographs of a street musician at Grand Central Station. And I didn't want to use a flash, which would have given a more natural looking light. Well, that's not entirely true. It would have been a more natural colored light, but you get the, you often get those harsh shadows. I mean, you can shoot it better and not get the light, but it also the flash is obtrusive and sort of, you know, disrupts the scene. So I like to, whenever I can, not use the, not use a flash. So, um, so when I shot this, Again, it's that incandescent light inside Grand Central Terminal, so the light's very yellow as opposed to, you know, sunlight, which is more of a, a blue, bluish-white color. So I want to change all these all at once rather than going through and changing these one at a time. But first, what I'm going to do is um, I want, you know, as you can see right here, all of these names are, you know, straight out of the camera. They're really boring names <laughs> you know and not very they're not very identifiable so I'm just going to go up here it's off of the the screen here but it says tools and batch rename and I'm in Adobe bridge I open these these photos in Adobe bridge and they're all inside a single folder so what I'm going to do is I want to rename them and have them change and change the name so I'm gonna keep preserve the original information because right now you see preview this says current file name and new file name they're exactly the same um so i want to let's see okay let's default okay I'll, I'll go ahead and use default and change things but one thing to remember destination folder it's going to rename the rename them in the same folder you can move them to a new folder or it can copy them to a new folder i just want to rename them to a same folder i actually recently recently um forgot to check this and it moved all the pictures into a full a new folder and I had to go searching for them so be careful with this destination folder okay so project I'm just going to call this um, busker which is another name for street musician it's a word I think a European word and the street musicians often use it to describe themselves um, here I have this extra little text box I don't really want that so I can add things and I can hit a minus to get rid of it and, so, and but I'm yeah so I'm gonna get rid of that and again I can add and remove it um, but if you look down here, right here, it says new file name, old current file name and new file name, Busker. And then it has the date that this was shot on, March 1st, and JPEG. I'm going to add an extra thing. Okay, so I'm going to put the sequence number at the end. And this extra one, what I usually do is underscore, won't let me add the underscore to the number sequence. So I'm going to add my initials on here, AP. And that will break it up and make it easier easier to use okay so and I don't want sequence letters I want sequence numbers there we go okay three digits okay so as you can see down here it says oh no it's off the screen <laughs> sorry all right oh god okay I've been talking about this and it's been off of the screen um, anyway okay that's the original name and then you get down here this is the okay so now I'm going to rename them and Make sure you check rename this fold this destination folder. I can rename them in the same folder. I can move them to a new folder or copy them to a new folder. If you want to move them, you can move them to a new folder, but I don't want to do that. I just want to rename them. So I'm gonna hit rename again, rename in the same folder. Rename. Boom. Now I got all these, they're instantly renamed. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick a photo that I think think to is a good general representative of 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 what I have here I think I'm gonna grab one of these with him against the the yellow because the wall is pretty yellow uh, let's see okay because I can see it off to here although there's a bet you know some of these are not necessarily good photos I think I'll go with this one and I'm going to right click that and I get opening camera raw alright so again the nice thing about camera raw is is the in order to tone your your image it's set up in a very intuitive way so even if you're not used to identifying how to you know tone 
and color a photograph properly, it's set up for in a way for a a novice to to understand quite easily and go through. You just sort of just follow and go through the area. Okay, so like the first one is temperature. You can see the temperature is pretty hot, so I'm just gonna do it by ear. Okay, I can make it hotter or I can make it colder. You know, so now it looks like it's freezing. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it and if I wanna and if I want to um just put it back, reset it, I just double click on the little arrow. Okay, so I'm just gonna move it over till I get a more natural that looks a little better. And I'm gonna go to the tent, which I can, you know, change quite significantly. I'm just gonna heat that, you know, put a little a little green there. And I'll just play with these a little bit till I get a color that I think looks nice. You know, that looks more natural. Okay, and then you just sort of work your way down. Um, for the exposure, it's a little dark, so I'm just going to lighten it up a bit. Okay, and once it's a little lighter, I can actually see, okay, it's still a little more yellow than I, than I want. So I can alter it just a little more, little, get rid of that little green that's in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I can kick up the exposure and the um, recovery is sort of brings back your highlights I mean this is pretty you know it's pretty dark so I'm not gonna have a whole lot of highlight recovery to you know to bring back there's you know not a whole lot there um, fill light brings in the details in the shadow so this might actually come in handy so if let me see I'm just gonna push it all the way over and see what happens oh I'm sorry, I was on the wrong one. Okay, so fill light. You know, see, it's kind of lightening those those darks up. So now, you know, I can begin to see some of what's happening in his hair. Okay, and the blacks, now that I've lightened it up, I want to darken those darks up just a bit more. All right. Don't want to darken them too much. Okay, the brightness. I can lighten the overall piece up. Contrast um, kicks in the edge detail makes things a lot different I mean I can kick in the contrast to make the edge detail a lot more <laughs> contrasty you know makes the light the edge detail makes the edges the whites a little bit the lights a little bit lighter and the darks a little bit a little bit darker okay oh, okay being a tutorial go in aside yeah. yeah, doing a tutorial go <laughs> And then the con yeah so the con uh, okay and the clarity um, also it's sort of like contrast it it refines those edge details but as you can see if I kick that up it sort of sharpens everything up just a bit like if I drop the clarity you can see everything goes soft and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick that clarity up um, the vibrance um, increases the saturation of things that the f colors or areas that aren't very saturated so I can make brighten that up a bit and saturation I'm really gonna leave alone that just puts in a lot of color so I'm just I don't I don't yeah okay I can just drop it there or again double click okay so once I've got these settings down and again I can preview on and off to see what it that's what it originally looked like and that's what it looks like now so that's that's a big difference alright so if I hit save image it will it will just save the image with the information as it is or I can hit open image and it will open it up in Photoshop or I can hit done and it takes me back to um, Adobe Bridge and if you notice if I if I click here this is the photo that I've changed you see it obviously it looks different than everything else but the information is non-destructive in camera in camera raw is where if I hit open image and it open it opens it up in Photoshop and I save it it's made those changes complete it made those changes and they're done whereas if I save it as a save it in camera raw here it the information is kept as metadata in something called the sidecar where the changes that I made are actually um, just information it's just a text text information that attaches to it so if I want to get rid of this information I can I can get rid of it but right here so okay so I'm going to click on this image and again you see that little icon is telling me that there is 
there's been changes, you know, there's like these little sliders. So you can see I made these changes and you don't see that on the rest of the photographs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under, under edit um, and go down to develop settings. And I can copy the settings and I can clear the settings. You know, so I can go, I'm going to copy these settings here. And now it's it's copied, and you could see before when I hit cop when I went to that to that um menu item, I couldn't um paste settings wasn't there. But now that I've copied them, paste is highlight uh, is a highlighted menu option. Okay, so now I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold the shift key and click on the last image, and I'm going to apply these. As you can again, you can see this one is nice and light and most of the yellow color is gone I, maybe I could get rid of a little more but I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop here okay so I'm gonna click on these images I'm gonna go to edit develop settings and I'm going to hit paste camera raw settings and it gives me this dialog box and it asks do it doesn't want to do I want to send all these settings and you can go through and eliminate certain things because I know I think I didn't make any of the changes to here and I can get rid of those but I'm just gonna hit OK and then you can see it's going through and changing all these pictures it's updating the information it's adding the little sidecar information right here to each of these images okay so once that's done um, I've made these basic global changes you know I made these basic changes across all of the images has gotten rid of that yellow but certain images aren't uh, let's see I think these are bad photos but I'm still gonna use these to um I'm not gonna worry about it, even though it's a blurred photo it's a bad photo I you can see it's a little bit more overexposed than the other ones so I'm gonna right click open this in camera raw and I'm, I can knock these you know knock down this exposure it looks a little green so I'm gonna pull some of this tinting out of there that green remove a little of that um, looks a little warm maybe I can move it over and then I can make subtle changes to these I don't have to do all this heavy lifting with each of these I can just go in again this one's really blurry this is a, I, I should have thrown this photo all out a long time ago all right here let's try to light recovery see what we get here since that's so blown out drop down the exposure it gets a little green it's a lot green and then I can hit okay, I can hit done so I'm making adjustments but I've made a broad broad adjustments across all of the photos at once which saves me a lot of time so then I can go back in you know each of these right click open in camera raw and I can I can make uh, you know different little adjust subtle slight adjustments in each of these and that's how that works and so when I at once I I just hit done it takes me back to Adobe Bridge and you can see each of these has the little icon showing me that it has the the, the sidecar information on there and if I close out of Adobe Bridge I'm just gonna go over to the main menu and hit quit and if you s you see it, it, the same folder here in um, as it's viewed it, it doesn't have these changes but the information is attached so if I take this image and I drag it down to the dock and open it up in the bridge you can see that that image is selected and it has the sidecar information it has all of the you, it has all of these changes and then when I'm ready to um, move it into Photoshop I just double click opens up in camera raw and I hit uh, open image and it takes me right into um, Photoshop where I can do whatever I want with it or save it out. And that's that.